Certain terms and conditions apply. For details, call 330-6500. Centel Cellular, a difference you can hear. Lancaster County Attorney Mike Havikin says he'll file charges today or tomorrow against two teenage boys who were arrested during the weekend in the beating death of a Lincoln man. The boys, ages 15 and 17, were apprehended after the man's bludgeoned body was found beneath a tree in a Lincoln City Park. Havikin says the victim, identified as 35-year-old Eugene Nakwe, was struck with a blunt object at least five times in the face and once in the chest. A tire iron found near the park is believed to have been used in the attack. The boys are being held at a juvenile shelter in Lincoln. The annual September Fest Salute to Labor in Omaha will be held at the Civic Auditorium in Omaha for five days beginning September 1st. Moore also discussed other matters, including the building trade strike, which is holding up some major projects in the Omaha area. He said the big stumbling block, as far as the unions are concerned, is the matter of a pay cut, and he added this. And uh, naturally, we stand that that is uh, really unfair, seeing that the building construction tradesman has only had a 1% increase in their salary in the last seven years in order to reach uh, a, and consummate an agreement between the two. Labor spokesman Terry Moore appearing last evening on our Board of Inquiry. Candidates for the U.S. Senate from Nebraska are featured at the Greater Omaha Chamber of Commerce Ag Council breakfast taking place right now at the Marriott Hotel. It got underway at 7.30. Jumping ship because they have a similar list of Republicans supporting Kerry. Kendall F. Sports after this. Claude Akins for Amco. Suppose you're driving your car and you hear the transmission go like this. Here's Kent with the latest on the Big Red. And good morning. Husker coach Tom Osborne says Florida State legitimately belongs at the top for the preseason football ratings. The Seminoles gained the top spot in the AP and UPI ratings released this weekend. Oklahoma was second and Nebraska third in the UPI listing and the other way around. The Cornhuskers second and the Sooners third, according to uh, AP. Osborne says Florida State should have as good a team as they did last year because they have 18 or 19 starters back. The 24th summer game starts September 17th, Korean time, Friday the 16th, U.S. time. A fire in a house at 3505 Charles in Omaha yesterday afternoon did considerable damage. Battalion Chief William Johnson said the first units on the scene reported flames coming out of the back windows. Oh, we had a one-story uh, frame dwelling that was totally involved when we arrived. Uh, it was occupied, but all of the occupants was out upon our arrival. Johnson said the fire itself was contained to a bedroom area near an air conditioner. The rest of the house received smoke and water damage yesterday at 3005 Charles. Weather forecast in just a minute. You're working away and you're feeling fine. Free from Bergen Mercy Hospital. So new rainfall figures in, and there were larger ones in Nebraska than we'd had before. O'Neill was 76 hundredths of an inch. Norfolk, 33 hundredths. Storm Lake, Iowa, 4 and 15 hundredths. Sioux Center, 4 to 5 and a half inches. Lorenz, Iowa, 6 and a half inches. Spencer, 2.75. And Larrabee, Iowa, 2 and a half inches. Well, here's the forecast for the MR Council of Los Lincoln vicinity. Chance of a little rain here in the MR Council of Los area yet this morning. Otherwise, all three cities will be partly cloudy with a 40% chance of afternoon thunderstorms. Our high will be the upper 70s to mid 80s. It's a very humid morning. Humidity 93% here in Omaha and Council Bluffs. We have a temperature of 70. Lincoln has 77. That's the 7.30 report. This is Walt Kavanaugh. All right. It is 14 in front of 8 o'clock this morning as we take a look at this date in history along with the birthdays for today. We'll start off with the birthdays here. Uh, heart transplant pioneer Dr. Denton Cooley is 68 today. And uh, sci-fi legend Ray Bradbury. He's also 68 today. Baseball great Carl Yastrzemski, 49 today. And blame it on Rio Star and uh, other uh, accomplishments as well for actress uh, Valerie Harper. She's 48 today. Actress Cindy Williams is 40 of Kids for Rent fame. Tennis player Matt Spillander is 24. All right. It's on this date in history in 1770 that Captain Cook claimed Australia for the British crown. And in 1787, John Fitch tested his first experimental steamboat on the Delaware River. Uh, traveled at a top speed of about three miles an hour. Upstream or downstream? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> probably down. Take your choice. That's right. It was in, easier. In 1846 on this date, the United States annexed the New Mexico Territory. In 1866 on this date, the Red Cross was founded in Geneva. And in 1865, liquid soap was patented. What would we do without liquid soap? 1865. That's right. And in 1902, Theodore Roosevelt became the first president to ride in an automobile. 1986, at least 1,500 people died in a remote area of the Cameroons in Africa when toxic volcanic fumes surfaced from the bottom of a lake. Okay, there you have a look at what happened on this date in history. And August 22, and that's the way it is. We just have to note that the invention of that liquid soap was a real solid accomplishment. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It's 13 in front of 8 now from KFAB. Again, a lucky word this hour. B-O-Y, boy, and it's worth $111. Lionel Richie.
Ritchie and Ballerina Girl on KFAB. Nine in front of eight o'clock. And this hour, we have 70 in Omaha Council Bluffs. Lincoln with 77. Humidity right up there at 93%. Let's dial for $5 right now. And you need to have a home phone number ending with 23 this time around. 23, that's what your home phone number has to end with. What famous Welsh poet wrote Portrait of the Artist as a Young Dog? What famous Welsh poet wrote Portrait of the Artist as a Young Dog? If you know and your home phone number ends with 23, be the first to call us now with the correct answer at 556-8005 and you'll win $5. Right now, another check of traffic this morning. Bill Jackson is on the ground in KFAB mobile unit number two. And there may still be a problem, a uh, slowdown in the area of 18th and Douglas. Be aware of that. Uh, an earlier accident happened there, so there may still be some slow-moving traffic as a result of that. That's in the area of 18th and Douglas in the downtown area. Right now, we're eastbound on Dodge in the UNO area. Everything moving well here. We notice that it may take uh, a couple of uh, turns of the light to get past 72nd Street on eastbound Dodge. Otherwise, both directions basically moving normally for this time of the morning. That was the case uh, a few minutes ago with north and southbound Interstate 680 and and no real problems that we're aware of for the interstate system now. This is KFAB Mobile 2 Traffic. Like most investment professionals, we'll make you comfortable. Already seven minutes in front of 8 o'clock here on a Monday from KFAB. I'm Scott Cannon. It's August 22nd, and here's Eddie Raven. To Monday morning at the factory game. Oh, I've got to admit it. So short no. Oh, Joe sure knows how to live. That's Eddie Raven on KFAB at 7.55. It's out there again. Mmm, good. If you never liked dry soups, you never tried Campbell's. It's the dry to try. No winner on dialing for $5, Dylan Thomas, the famous Welsh poet that wrote Portrait of the Artist as a Young Dog. Dylan Thomas was the answer. Right now, it's Paul Anka on KFAB. Good morning, yesterday. You wake up, and time has slipped away. Do you remember? That's Paul Anka remembering the times of your life. And this is your station for news, KFAB in Omaha. Good morning, everyone. This is Walt Kavanaugh with the KFAB 8 o'clock news brought to you by Bakers. Bakers, pleasing people. We have 69 degrees here in Omaha and Council Bluffs. Lincoln has a temperature of 77. There's a chance of a few more showers in the Omaha and Council Bluffs area this morning. Otherwise, our three cities will be partly cloudy. All three cities with a 40% chance of thunderstorms this afternoon. Today's highs will be the upper 70s to the mid 80s. Now at 8 o'clock, we have this report from NBC. <laughs> This is the NBC Radio Network. Good morning, I'm Gary Nunn. No indication from authorities in Poland how they may intend to deal with the anti-government pro-solidarity strikes now going on in several parts of the country. Shipyard workers join coal miners and dock workers in other cities in protest. Washington Post reporter Jackson Deal is convinced that the Polish government will begin a crackdown on the outlawed union. You're listening to NBC Radio Network News. Baker's supermarkets are producing low prices on some of your favorite produce. Stop. This is the NBC Radio Network. And now here's the latest from the KFAB newsroom. We have 69 degrees in Omaha and Council Bluffs. Lincoln has 77 at three and a half minutes after eight o'clock. There's been some rain in our region during the early morning hours. Here in the Omaha Council Bluffs, sorry, it didn't amount to a whole lot. Eight one hundredths of an inch reported at uh, North Omaha. Epley Field had three one hundredths. Lincoln had no rain at all. But other locations did have substantial amounts. Norfolk, Nebraska reporting in with 33 hundredths of an inch. O'Neill, Nebraska had 76 hundredths. Storm Lake, Iowa, 4 and 15 hundredths. Sioux Center, Iowa, amounts ranging from 4 to 5 and a half inches. Lorenz, Iowa, all these in the northwestern part of the state, 6 and a half inches of rain. They think, generally speaking, 4 to 6 inches of rain fell in a northwestern Iowa area. Spencer, 2 and 75 hundredths. The Sioux City area reported 2 and 7 hundredths, officially 70 hundredths of an inch at the Sioux City Weather Station. Larrabee, Iowa, which is north of Cherokee in the northwest, had 2 and a half inches of rain. Candidates for the U.S. Senate from Nebraska are featured at the Greater Omaha Chamber of Commerce Ag Breakfast this morning. It's underway now at the Marriott. Democrat candidate Bob Carey and David Carnes both to discuss national policy implications for agriculture. They were to answer questions from the audience. Carey was to speak shortly before 8. Carnes will be speaking around 8.20 if things are going according to plan. 
Charges may be filed today or tomorrow against two teenagers in Lincoln arrested in the bludgeoning death of a Lincoln man. At the scene, Correction Center Superintendent Karen Shortridge was asked if the situation had been handled properly. Omaha Police Department, how the State Patrol, and how the staff at the Omaha Correctional Center handled it. I think that if the total cooperation and the total organization, it just really worked well, and no one was hurt, and that was what was fortunate. And there's no uh, interruption or, or a, a lack of work in that area. Because, you know, we could lose that work for our community, and it would hurt us economically. So we're staying on top of that, trying to make sure that everything follows through. Or told KVB's Daisago, he's optimistic the labor dispute can soon be settled. On another matter, he also took note of the fact the annual September Fest salute to labor, the 12th for Omaha, will be held for five days in the downtown area at the Civic Auditorium, September 1st through the 5th. It is estimated... We didn't allow any of that, and I think that was our, our first and our main objective. Mullen spoke to KVB while the moving wall was being disassembled and packed for the journey to its next stop, which is Loveland, Colorado. We'll have sports with Kent Pavelka for you in just a minute. At Baker's Supermarkets, our carryout service has no compromises. So a couple more rainfall amounts that come in for Nebraska. Three of them, as a matter of fact, are rather large. Laurel, Nebraska, one and thirty-three hundredths. Rose, one and seventy-one hundredths. And Wakefield, two and seventeen hundredths. And another one, Wayne, Nebraska, with one and fifty-two hundredths. So the heaviest rain of the last twenty-four hours has been in uh, northeast Nebraska and uh, those northwestern Iowa readings we were telling you about. This portion of the news has been brought to you by Bakers, Bakers, Pleasing People. Now here's Kent Pavelka. And good morning, everybody. The Nebraska Cornhuskers rank second in the country in the preseason Associated Press uh, college football poll and third, according to UPI, enters its final week of preparation for Saturday's confrontation with Texas A&M in the kickoff classic. Phoenix is 0-3. Baseball and more sports after this. The 1988 Buick Skylark has so many luxury features standard, we call it a little limousine. Well, in baseball, the Iowa Cubs beat the Omaha Royals last night in American Association ball 5-1. to one. Omaha four and a half ahead of second place Iowa in the American Association West now. Parent club Kansas City beat Cleveland 3-1. to one. Willie Wilson scoring all three of the Royals' wins, the Atlantic Classic in New Jersey. And that's our Monday morning sports on KFAB at 17 past 8. This is Kent Pavelka. The Walt will be back in a moment with more news and a look at today's weather. Corporate downsizing. It's a matter of staying competitive. Bellevue College, just minutes from Omaha. Call today. 291-8100. George Bush says the buck stops with him when it comes to his choice for a running mate, and he says he's willing to take the heat for picking Indiana Senator Dan Quayle as his number two man. Bush also says no thought has been given to Quayle's withdrawal from the ticket. Bush says he's confident Quayle will survive the current flap over his National Guard service during the Vietnam area. George Bush addresses a veterans group today. With the Dukakis campaign is NBC's Joe Walsh. Michael Dukakis plans to emphasize the need for economic reform and leadership as he picks up his campaign for the presidency this week. Joe Walsh, NBC Radio Network News, with the Dukakis campaign in Boston. We have 69 in Omaha and Council Bluffs, 77 in Lincoln. Today, our three-city area. For Omaha and Council Bluffs, maybe a little more rain this morning, but otherwise, all three cities partly cloudy with a 40% chance of thunderstorms this afternoon. Highs will be the upper 70s to mid-80s. Nebraska will have scattered thunderstorms, mainly central and east, be partly cloudy elsewhere. Highs will be the upper 70s to mid-80s. Iowa, scattered showers and thunderstorms with locally heavy rain and isolated severe storms possible. Iowa's highs will be the mid-70s to the 80s. Humidity in Omaha and Council Bluffs, 93%. Barometer rising, wind out of the east at 7 miles an hour. While there's been heavy rain in northeast Nebraska and sections of northwestern Iowa, nothing to speak of here. Eight one hundredths for North Omaha, Epley Field, three one hundredths, Lincoln had none at all. Missouri River stage, 17 feet even. Humidity, 93%. Barometer rising. Wind out of the east at 7 miles an hour. Kansas City has 78. 71 with rain around Des Moines. 78 at last report in Beatrice. Scotts Bluff, 60. A shower at North Platte with 68. Rain at Grand Island the, during the last hour with 70. 69 with a thunder shower around Norfolk. 71 in Columbus. 68 with rain in the Sioux City area. 77 in Lincoln. 69 degrees in Omaha and Council Bluffs. That's the news. This is Walt Kavanaugh. 20 minutes after 8 o'clock, we've spent all morning untangling our tongues, and I thought we'd have a little fun here trying to uh, tie them up again. These are uh, some tongue twisters that... Uh, Seems like Monday morning the tongue is a little tw more <laughs> twisted than the rest it of the week. It generally is. Uh -huh. I don't know why that is. Or sometimes it gets worse as the week goes yeah, on. That's, that's true, true too. too. It depends on how your week is going. 
the idea here is if you play a game with these, you're supposed to be able to uh, repeat these three times in rapid succession. Yes. You don't win anything, but uh, that's the the object of the game. Do we get our choice here, or what do we do? Uh, I just thought we'd go down the list. Or do, do you want me to start? I'd like to take the first one. <laughs> yeah, why don't you do the first one there, Kit? The rest of them look a little more difficult. This one's supposed to be Blue Bulbs Brightly Blink. Blue bulbs brightly blink. Blue bulbs brightly blink. Blue bulbs brightly blink. Well, how about <laughs> Not that? Bad. This right. is supposed to say busy bees buzz busily. <laughs> All right. Busy bees buzz busily. Busy bees buzz busily. Busy bees buzz busily. Very okay. good. That's very good. All right. The third one on the list is clear creamed clams. Clear cream clams. Clear... <laughs> <laughs> I'm busy concentrating. Okay. Number four. Try it again. No, you try no. it again. Clear creamed clams. Clear creamed clams. Clear cream. <laughs> <laughs> no. All right, now this is frozen fresh Swiss fish. They're getting more difficult, aren't they? <laughs> I knew you'd like this one. Okay, frozen fresh Swiss fish, frozen fresh Swiss fish, frozen fresh fris Swiss fish. Would you mind naming yourself the other direction? <laughs> <laughs> okay, right, this is Walter. supposed to say glittering, glimmering, glistening snow. <clears throat> glittering, glimmering, glistening snow. Glittering, glimmering, glistening snow. Glittering, glimmering, glistening snow. Good one, Walt. That's a good one. Okay, the last one on the list is 66 sick chicks. <laughs> 66 six, six chicks? Yeah, 66 six chicks. 66 six chicks. 66 six chicks. 66 six chicks. I think I got a few wet. <laughs> hey, did that all right, didn't he? Not too bad. For I a hope, Monday, anyway. That's right. I hope those chicks are feeling better. <laughs> all right, we have some music now. It's 22 minutes after 8 o'clock. FAB. 822 this morning, and here's the barge. Barge and the rhythm of the night on KFAB at 25 minutes after 8 o'clock this morning. We have 69 degrees. I do intensive supply management. And that was Bob Kerry. This was the reply from Senator Carnes on the Republican platform. Uh, our agriculture platform is specific. It's very uh, broad in its scope. And again, I'm pleased to be able to run on something and point to something that uh, I can specifically uh, ignore. This directory of stores. From the crossroads, Walt Gibbs, KFAB News. We've been overcast here in the Yamaha Council Plus area this forenoon. Our temperature remains at 70 now. Lincoln has been having some sunny skies, and they've warmed up to 82. And our key FAB time is 10 minutes after 12. This portion of the news has been brought to you by Farm Bureau Insurance. Excuse me, miss. Can I ask you something? Go ahead. Omaha's exclusive premier Mercedes-Benz dealer, Jim Arp Imports Limited. Located conveniently at 5500 L Street, Omaha. From time to time here in Omaha, there have been some major setbacks for working people with the announcements by major companies that they're moving part of their operation out of the city or drastically cutting back their operations here. On our Board of Inquiry program last night, the president of the Omaha Federation of the AFL-CIO, Terry Moore, talked about what his organization has been doing in a situation such as the recently announced closing of the Union Pacific shops. Well, we have a rapid unemployment task force from the Omaha Federation of Labor that when a plant closes down or there's a massive layoff, uh, we go in with this team and help assist uh, the company uh, when we're asked to do so uh, to help lessen that impact. Uh, there's a multitude of things that need to be done for individuals, uh, uh, filing for uh, unemployment insurance, uh, uh, job training programs, completely changing careers, which we have people to help in that area, uh, continuing their education, maybe they're going to move, financial problems that may occur through cr uh, cre credit consumer counseling that would go in and help maybe reduce what is paid on a monthly payment in order that the person can make the payment without going into bankruptcy, um, help for the family to where there's family stress and where things like the marriage is starting to weaken or they have problems with the children. We have people that are experts in every one of those fields that will help, uh, if needed, by any individual. And that was Terry Moore of the Omaha AFL-CIO appearing last evening on our Kiefer the Board of Inquiry program. And Lucas says a demolition derby will be tonight's grandstand feature. Well, in the 24 hours that was concluded this morning, we had just eight hundredths of an inch of rainfall at the North Omaha Weather Station. Epley Field had even less than that. They had three hundredths of an inch. Lincoln had no rain at all. But other places had substantial rainfall amounts. Two to four inches or more reported in sections of northeast Nebraska and in northwestern Iowa. The greater amounts were in northwestern Iowa, where... Lorenz had six and a half inches of rain. Sioux Center, four to five and a half inches. Storm Lake, four and fifteen hundredths inches. Spencer had 2.75. The Sioux City area, two and seventy hundredths. Larrabee, Iowa, in the northwestern part of the state, had two and a half inches. 
The amounts were not that large in Nebraska, but they were heavy in places, all in the northeastern part. O'Neill had 76 hundredths of an inch. Laurel, 1 and 33 hundredths. Wayne, 1.52. Wakefield, 2 and 17 hundredths. Rose, Nebraska, 1 and 17, uh, 1 and 71 hundredths. The rainfall, the heavy stuff, seemed seemingly confined to northeast Nebraska and northwestern Iowa. Omaha Council Bluffs, Lincoln and surrounding area this afternoon will be mostly cloudy with scattered thunder showers in Omaha and Council Bluffs, a high around 80. The upper 80s or low 90s is expected in the Lincoln vicinity. Winds will be southeasterly at 5 to 15 miles an hour, and they'll be shifting to northerly later on today. There's a 30% chance of evening showers tonight and decreasing cloudiness with lows tonight of 60 to 65. Tomorrow mostly sunny with a high around 80. Nebraska will have scattered thunderstorms, mainly in the central and east, become partly cloudy elsewhere with highs the upper 70s to mid 80s. Tonight will be fair and cool in the west. There will be thunderstorms tonight in the southeast and decreasing cloudiness. Lows will be the 50s in the west, the 60s here in the east. Tomorrow mostly sunny with highs in the 80s. Iowa will have scattered showers and thunderstorms with locally heavy rain, isolated severe storms possible. Highs will be the mid-70s north central, upper 80s in the southeast. Showers and thunderstorms will be ending tonight from the northwest to the southeast. Tonight's lows will be the 50s and 60s. Tomorrow, there's a chance of morning showers in southeastern Iowa. Otherwise, though, it'll be a mostly sunny day across the state with highs in the 80 to 85 degree range. Humidity in Omaha and Council Bluffs, 90%. Barometer rising, 29.88. Wind out of the northeast at 7 miles an hour. Kansas City has 91, Des Moines 71, Scotts Bluff 71, North Platte 75, Grand Island 73 with some rain, Norfolk 70 with some shower activity there, 70 in Sioux City, 82 in Lincoln, and 70 in Omaha and Council Bluffs. When I look at corn hybrids, I start by looking at the field performance. That's value. Wilson value. Now Omaha's only complete market report from the major Midwest terminals, brought to you by Kent Feeds. Here again is Walt Kavanaugh. On the Omaha livestock market today, there were 2,900 slaughter cattle, 2,500 hogs, and they had 325 sheep. The slaughter steer and heifer market was steady, with choice steers bringing 69 to 70 and a half, choice heifers 67 and a half to 69 and a half. The slaughter cow market in Omaha was steady today, with cows selling from 46 on up to 53. We'll be back with the rest of the market information for you after this message. If you pork producers want a ration with the advantages of added fat, can't some. He's the man with the guarantee. It's my Kent Feed Stealer and me. It's my Kent Feed Stealer and me. Now let's take a look at some cash grain prices at representative elevators around our region. A short while ago, the Pillsbury Company in Council Bluffs was bidding $251 for corn, $803 for soybeans. Utilities down 0.24, 65 stock average down 273 in what's described as a light trade. The 30 industrials down not quite seven points. That's the market story. This is Walt Kavanaugh. This has been Omaha's only complete market report from the major Midwest terminals, brought to you by Kent Feeds. Stay tuned for the top farm news and a complete look at the weather in a few minutes within the 12:30 KFAB News. <laughs> Give a little love. How can you refuse? They're the Judds on KFAB. It's 1225 and 70 degrees. Omaha Council Bluffs now 82 in Lincoln. New lucky word, which we have for you here, is hogged. H-O-G-G-E-D. Hogged. Hogged is the word to know this time if we call you and ask for the lucky word. $111 prize for that one. Last hour we made calls to people in the Omaha Council Bluffs area, Lincoln, and West Point, Nebraska. <laughs> In the business world, you need every advantage you can get. More news coming on KFAB Radio 1230. National and international news. Look at local. Of course, a complete check of the weather and the farm news. All on the way for you. Bill Jackson inviting you to leave it on 11. Here are the Carpenters. It's going to take some time this time to get myself in shape. It's more costly. Grain prices are up, and so are production costs. What the before it's feeding time again? Remember the pork referendum, September 7th and 8th. This is KFAB in Omaha with the news more people depend on. Good afternoon. This is Walt Kavanaugh with the 1230 KFAB News. 
We have 70 in Omaha and Council Bluffs with a humidity reading of 90%. Lincoln has a temperature of 82. This afternoon, it'll be mostly cloudy with scattered thundershowers expected in the Omaha and Council Bluffs area. It'll be partly cloudy with a 50% chance of showers or thunderstorms in and around Lincoln. And the highs will vary a good deal from around 80 in Omaha and Council Bluffs to the upper 80s or low 90s in the Lincoln area. We've been uh, cloudy all morning. They've had some sunshine, so we have 70. They have 82 degrees. The winds this afternoon will be light easterly, becoming northerly at 10 to 20 miles an hour this afternoon. Tonight, there's a 30% chance of thunder showers in the evening in all three cities, after which there will be decreasing cloudiness with lows of 60 to 65. Tomorrow, mostly sunny. The high will be around 85 tomorrow. 82 in Lincoln. It's 70 degrees in Omaha and Council Bluffs. They've issued a flood statement for northwestern Iowa. We'll tell you more about that in a few minutes. As we've been telling you throughout the early hours today, they, they had some very heavy rainfall in sections of northwestern Iowa. A federal grand jury has charged six Cuban-Americans with breaking the law by running a private Contra supply operation out of a secret training camp in Florida. And we'll be back with more news after this. Say hello to crows. Say hello to hello to crows. Rescuers in Nepal are picking through the rubble looking for more victims of yesterday's earthquake that set off landslides and floods. Perry is supposed to have reached the pole in April of 1909, but his records are incomplete. Raining in Omaha and Council Bluffs, where at last report the temperature stood at 70. Lincoln, under partly cloudy skies, had a reading of 82. Our time is 24 minutes until 1 o'clock. Back to school is a chance to make a new impression on everyone. So make the most of it by treating your complexion to Fizoderm. That's Fizoderm Skin Cleanser and Conditioner at Value Right. Check the yellow pages for your nearest Value Right pharmacy. Right from the first fresh aromatic cup in the morning. Here's some school information we've been asked to pass along. The Valley, Nebraska Public Schools have announced all elementary school classes will dismiss at 3.15 each day unless there's a notification change. Also, there'll be regular school hours for kindergarten with dismissal times of 11.15 and 3.15 in Valley. These announcements, Dawson Verdon Schools in Dawson, Nebraska, will dismiss at 1.30 today because of the warm weather. Dawson Verdon Schools in Dawson, Nebraska, will dismiss at 1.30 because of the heat, the warm and humid weather. The Syracuse Dunbar of Oka Public Schools in Nebraska will close at 1.30 today because of the heat and the humidity. Concerning rivers in northwestern Iowa, the rainfall during the night in northwestern Iowa, as we've been telling you, reached from 2 to 6 inches, with the largest amount now reported at 661 at Sioux Center. And that will be available from 8.30 to 10 a.m. on Saturday morning. Amy Dorr says Mercy Hospital will be the major provider of the sports medicine in western Iowa for athletes at the high school level. We will abandon our exports. Each man was allotted a half hour for presentation as well as for questions and answers. Among other things, Carnes and Kerry expressed concern over the preservation of natural resources and the needs for rural development. We'll take a look at some of today's market trends in just a moment. Welcome to another non-commercial from DeKalb Pfizer Genetics. Meeting today among the county fairs, the Hall County Fair in Grand Island. Those are the day's top farm stories. Again, Walt Cavanaugh. Well, we would hazard a guess it's been raining as hard right now in Omaha and Council Bluffs during the last 10 or 15 minutes than it has all summer long. It's been a real downpour, at least here at 50th and Underwood. Humidity in Omaha and Council Bluffs, 90%. The temperature is 70 degrees, or it was before the rain started coming down. Lincoln had a temperature of 82. Uh, apparently, they were not getting the rain. They've been having uh, partly sunny skies throughout the forenoon. They're an even dozen degrees warmer than we are right now. This afternoon, it'll be mostly cloudy with scattered showers expected in the Omaha Council Bluffs area to continue for a while. It'll be partly cloudy with a 50% chance of showers or thunderstorms in and around Lincoln. Today's highs will be around 80 in Omaha and Council Bluffs, upper 80s or low 90s in the Lincoln area. The winds will be light easterly, becoming northerly at 10 to 20 miles an hour this afternoon. Tonight, there's a 30% chance of evening thunder showers in all three cities, after which there'll be decreasing cloudiness with lows of 60 to 65. Tomorrow, mostly sunny. The high tomorrow will be around 85. Nebraska will have scattered thunderstorms, mainly in the central and east today. It'll be partly cloudy elsewhere, with highs the 70s to the mid-80s. Clear and cool in the west tonight. Thunderstorms in the southeast. Lows tonight will be the 50s west, 60s east. Tomorrow, they say, look for a mostly sunny day, with highs in the 80s. Iowa will have scattered showers and thunderstorms, with locally heavy rain. Steady. The rainfall, eight hundredths of an inch for the Omaha Council Bluffs area up until noon, and then it really began to come down during the noon hour here, so we don't know what we've had since then. 
Latest temperatures across our region. Kansas City was 91. Des Moines, 71. Scotts Bluff, 71. North Platte, 75. Grand Island Rain was 73. 70 with a shower in the Norfolk area. Sioux City had 70. 82 in Lincoln, 70. And uh, heavy rain in the Omaha Council Bluffs area. On Wall Street, the 30 industrials are down 1049 at approximately 2006. Transportation issues down 582. Utilities down 0 0.17. 65 stock average down 385 with 82 million 148,000 shares having been traded. And the weather people have issued a statement. They said at 12.30, an area of showers and thunderstorms extended from southwest of Lincoln through Omaha into northwestern Iowa. The heaviest storm was located, as we've been telling you, over the Omaha Council Bluffs area. That was as of 12.30. The heavier storms containing very heavy rain along with dangerous lightning, wind gusts as high as 35 miles an hour, accompanying these storms as they move to the east-northeast at around 35 miles an hour. So apparently the heavy rain will be short-lived, but uh, while it lasts, it'll be very heavy. 70 in Omaha and Council Bluffs, 82 degrees in Lincoln. That's the 12:30 report. This is Walt Kavanaugh. Bill Jackson's back with music. 13 to 1 on your AM stereo station, KFAB. Bobby Vinton has a new song. We have it for you here. It's The Last Rose, the name of it. A teenage boy stood at her door. The Last Rose, Bobby Vinton, KFAB Radio, nine and a half minutes until one. Good rain coming down. And we officially are calling it 70 degrees for Omaha Council Bluffs, 82 in Lincoln. At Metro Community College, we have you in mind. Whether Eight and a half till one, KFAB Radio, and without you, Nielsen Music on 11. No, I can't forget this evening, or your face as you were leaving. The Thunderstorm warning effective until 1.45 p.m. Central Daylight Time for the east-central part of Nebraska. Douglas and Sarpy counties included in that for uh, Mills County in the southwest part of Iowa and for Pottawatomie County in the west-central part of Iowa. So this does include Douglas and Sarpy County and Pottawatomie County all until 1.45 p.m., a severe thunderstorm warning. And at uh, 12.48, uh, that severe thunderstorm activity brought uh, some pretty heavy winds to uh, the Epley area, up to 63-mile-per-hour winds out there. We'll update you on the news and the weather coming up. I've found out that you care for another guy. FAB in Omaha, AM Stereo Radio, with the news more people depend on. Good afternoon, this is Gary Saddlemeyer, KFAB News. 70 in Omaha Council Bluffs now, 82 in Lincoln with a thunderstorm in progress. In fact, the National Weather Service has put up a severe thunderstorm warning for Douglas and Sarpy counties here in Nebraska, most of the metro area, and Mills and Pottawatomie counties across the river in Iowa. That will be in effect until 145. The very heavy rain has just passed through the midsection of Omaha and is headed on east. The condition of a Lincoln woman injured in a car accident last week. September soybeans in Chicago, 841, down 30. November beans, 851 and a half, also down 30. We'll have the live cattle and hog futures closing quotes for you at 130 and the closing grain an hour from now. This is the NBC Radio Network. I'm Andy Fisher. The Kremlin has issued a statement denying that the Soviet Union or its Afghan allies were responsible in any way for last week's explosion in the skies over Pakistan. I'm Andy Fisher on the NBC Radio Network. Five after one, KFAB Radio, Bill Jackson on your AM stereo station. Last we checked here, uh, right around 70 degrees for Omaha and Council Bluffs, and around the 82 mark for Lincoln. We're going to switch now to uh, Walt Kavanaugh and his mobile unit with a uh, report for some things going on around the area. It's uh, probably a result of the weather, right, Walt? I would imagine that it is, Bill. I don't really know. But uh, in any event, on 50th Street, just a couple of blocks south of Farnham, between 50th uh, on uh, on 50th Street between Leavenworth and uh, Farnham, there's a manhole cover off. It's sitting a couple of feet alongside the, the manhole itself, and uh, there, for all the world to see, is an open manhole. So if you're driving south on 50th Street from Farnham, be on the alert for that. We've uh, notified the proper authorities, but it might take a little while to get the thing popped back into place. And if it happened there, there was a very, very heavy downpour during the noon hour. Chances are it may have happened somewhere else, too. So something to be on the lookout uh, on this very rainy day here in the Omaha area. This is Walt Kavanaugh on unit number four. Six after one from KFAB Radio. And uh, humidity is still high. Last uh, time around, we checked that. Uh, last time we had an official reading in 90%. For the metro area, here's Heartbreaker, Dion Warwick on KFAB. That's 
Heartbreaker, Dion Warwick on AM Stereo KFAB. It's 110, 67 degrees, our official 1 o'clock reading. Now, that's as a result of a thunderstorm activity that's moved through the area. Humidity has to be very near the 100% mark with uh, the rainy activity we've had. And certainly, that's going to probably stay the case much of the rest of the afternoon. Cloudy and 74 for the Lincoln area right now. We have a new lucky word, and that word is novel, N-O-V-E-L, novel. Novel is the one this time between 1 and 2 o'clock. The one to know if we call you. $111 prize to everyone we call who knows that one. And last hour we made calls to people in the Omaha Council Bluffs area, to listeners in Lincoln and St. Paul. Yesterday. There's one you have, uh, one of your favorites from the Beatles on KFAB Radio. And yesterday, it's 1.13. And how about it here? We have uh, something to take care of, a little uh, little business, as a matter of fact. And I'm going to tell you what it is. We're uh, going to give away some uh, free meals, a couple of free meals, matter of fact, at the Beef Barbecue Pits at the Nebraska State Fair, September 2nd through the 11th, courtesy of the Nebraska Cattlemen. So if you are the fourth caller whose home phone number ends in the digits 3-4... To give us a call at 551-8855, you'll win the two free beef barbecue meals. Remember, your home phone must end in the two digits, 3-4. Now, the fourth caller who gives us a call at 551-8855 will be the winner. So uh, give us a call on that and have a good meal to look forward to if you're the winner. Health care costs are continually rising. Eastern Ambulance Service is helping you cut those costs with AmServe. Eastern Ambulance, helping you stretch your health care dollar with AmServe. Okay, our three-city weather this afternoon. Scattered thunder showers expected for Omaha Council Bluffs. Partly cloudy, 50% chance of showers or thunderstorms in the Lincoln area. Highs varying from around 80 to uh, the Omaha Council Bluffs area. We're now officially 67 degrees for Omaha and Council Bluffs. Still some thunder thunderstorm activity, 100% the humidity. And Lincoln cloudy with 74 now from KFAB. <laughs> Tomlinson on KFAB Radio, your AM stereo station. It's 118, 67 degrees. Omaha Council Bluffs, now 74 in Lincoln. Dying flame, you free again. KFAB Radio, and we've been notified now that the severe thunderstorm warning issued at 12.50 is no longer in effect for uh, Douglas and Sarpy counties of eastern Nebraska and western Pottawatomie County of uh, western Iowa. The warning continues in effect, however, until 1.45 p.m. for uh, eastern Pottawatomie and Mills counties of uh, Iowa, so that's the way that stands. At 1.12, the area of strong thunderstorms and a few still possibly containing damaging winds extended from about 20 miles east of Omaha, or uh, just west of Oakland, Iowa, to 20 miles southeast of Omaha near Glenwood. Now, that area is about 10 miles wide. It was moving rapidly to the east and southeast at near 40 miles per hour. Early, it produced a wind gust to around 63 miles per hour at uh, Omaha Epley Field. So it is potentially quite dangerous with uh, lots of strong driving winds and rains as a result of that. Still 67 degrees for the Omaha and Council Bluffs area right now. And uh, in Lincoln, the reading cloudy with 74. Right now. Don't wait. I have to take a moment out to congratulate Warren Kotensky of Omaha, our uh, latest winner of uh, two free meals at the Beef Barbecue Pit at the Nebraska State Fair. Uh, coming up in September the 2nd through the 11th. That's courtesy of Nebraska Cattlemen. So Warren Kotensky and uh, Mrs. Kotensky probably going to eat free at the State Fair on all of us. 123 KFAB Radio and Engelbert now. Please release me. Let me go. KFAB Radio, please. 
Release Me, and Engelbert Humperdinck, 127 Novel is our KFAB lucky word to know for the hour, N-O-V-E-L. That's worth a $111 prize should we ring your phone and ask for it. 67 degrees in Omaha and Council Bluffs, and 74 in Lincoln. A check of KFAB News and the weather. Complete look at the weather as well. Coming up at 1.30, here's Eddie Rabbit. Stereo Radio, KFAB in Omaha, with the news more people depend on. Good afternoon, this is Terry Leahy with the 130 KFAB News, brought to you by Apple Computers, Macintosh Business Forum. It's 67 degrees in Omaha Council Bluffs with 100% humidity, and it's 74 in Lincoln. This afternoon will be mostly cloudy in our three-city area, with scattered thunder showers expected in Omaha and Council Bluffs, and partly cloudy with a 50% chance of showers or thunderstorms in the Lincoln area. Highs will vary from around 80 in Omaha Council Bluffs to the upper 80s or low 90s around Lincoln. The severe thunderstorm warning issued at 12.50 p.m. for this area is no longer in effect for Douglas and Sarpy counties of Nebraska and western Pottawatomie County. The warning continues in effect until 1.45 p.m. for eastern Pottawatomie and Mills County of southwest Iowa. Across Poland, police detain scores of activists in a number of Polish cities. At the close, live cattle futures, October 7070 down 117, December 7157 down 138. Live hog futures, October 4037 down 108, December 4265 down 120. At last check, 67 degrees in Omaha Council Bluffs and 74 in Lincoln. That's the KFAB 130 News, brought to you by Apple Computers, Macintosh Business Forum. This is Terry Leahy reporting. And now here's Bill Jackson with more KFAB music. Joe Knows How to Live. That's the name of the song. Eddie Raven's latest thing for us on KFAB. It's 25 until 2. Blue Monday morning at the factory again. Joe sure knows how to live. Eddie Raven, KFAB Radio, your AM stereo station, 21 and a half until 2. Lucky word. What is our lucky word? No, I know our lucky word. Our lucky word this hour. We call you to know it. Radio. We'll play it way down low. There's a tear in your eye that's reflecting the fire's glow. Say goodbye again. England, Anna, John Ford Coley, and KFAB Radio. Give you the lucky word. The word is novel, N-O-V-E-L. I know what I did. I had it written down here, and I covered it up, and then I dropped it as I was going to give it to you the last time. So just to let you know that things are uh, a little tough when you come back from vacation <laughs> getting organized here. We've been handed a latest edition or latest... Uh, Latest uh, information on the weather moving through the area. Now the National Severe Storms Forecast Center has issued a severe thunderstorm watch for a small... From the Douglas County Attorney's Office, I'm Joseph Kasmer, KFAB News. Lancaster County Attorney Mike Hevelkin said today two Lincoln teenagers, 15-year-old Ben Neville Joseph and 17-year-old Jason Daniels, probably will be charged in the death of 35-year-old Eugene Nakwe, who was earlier released from the hospital. Now 75, Omaha Council Bluffs, Lincoln has 78. Our KFAB news time is 6 past 5. As we get a check on traffic now from the KFAB mobile unit number 2. Westbound Dodge is the slow spot right now in the metro area. Westbound Dodge is slow from 72nd back to around Happy Hollow as a result of an accident just west of the 72nd and Dodge intersection. And that means that uh, you'll have to hit the brakes and just go bumper to bumper for quite a while. That is from Happy Hollow to 72nd Street. You want to move to the right as you just have two lanes uh, for Westbound Dodge as you approach 72nd Street. Also, north and southbound 72nd is being affected and uh, eastbound 72nd is slow back to 72nd. 74- 4th Street, but the uh, main uh, slowdown is westbound Dodge from around Happy Hollow to 72nd Street. This is KFAB Mobile 2 Traffic. It's 7 after 5 on KFAB. Tom will have more news in a minute. Honey, you know how you're always talking about vans? How you want to find out more about them? Just off I-80 at Highway 370. Zach's Van Avenue. At Zach's, they have your van. Authorized Qualico dealer. Nebraska's Secretary of State Alan Bierman announced today that questions to pull Nebraska out of a low-level radioactive waste compact and put a guns right amendment in the state constitution will be on the November ballot. 
He said Nebraskans generally have been good stewards of the soil. We have monitored this very well. I think to a large degree uh, the state should take the lead in this area. And that's why I've taken upon myself and a number of, a number of others when we get into areas like this, uh, approach that in a cavalier fashion and say we're just going to produce for this year and forget about the future. Senator Dave Carnes of the Omaha Parents. Bob Carey said there is still room to develop natural resources, though, in Nebraska. I believe it's possible for us to resolve without a great deal of difficulty. In fact, is are we going to make the investment? At U.S. Senatorial Candidate Bob Carey. 75 degrees, Omaha Council Bluffs, Lincoln has 78, our humidity at 79%. Our KFAB News Time, 11 and a half minutes past 5. Nebraska ETV, you like the looks of it. You'll like the looks of special August programs tonight on the Nebraska ETV Network. There's TV worth watching. with Lionel Richie and Love Will Conquer All on KFOR. You don't have to guess about the weather as KFOR gives you the weather information you need when you need it. KFOR 1240, the one Lincoln turns to for weather. And to prove it, we'll take a look at KFOR's radar weather forecast. 10 to 2 now on a Monday with Alan Van Sant here. Our KFOR radar weather forecast for the duration of uh, this night. Partly cloudy, slight chances of thunderstorms later on. The low will be 69. Then Monday afternoon, mostly cloudy and cooler. The high of only 83. And a continuing chance of rain to make sure that uh, things do stay a bit cooler. The low of 60 then Monday night and Tuesday sunny and breezy with a high of 85. Right now it's clear in Omaha and 81 degrees. 83 at the Lincoln Airport officially. We have southeast winds at 14 miles per hour with 65% humidity. It's 78 here at KFOR 1240. We've become a six-decade tradition in Lincoln. I am today ordering a freeze on all prices and wages throughout the United States for a period of 90 days. After being fired upon, the F-14s from the U.S. aircraft carrier Nimitz took action in response and shot down both living aircraft at 1.20 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time, August 19, 1981. KFOR Radio News. We've been your eyes and ears to the world for 64 years. If there had been no Elvis, there would have been no Beatles. If there had been no Beatles, there wouldn't have been an aware 60s for young people. Never in the field of human conflict when so much owed by so many to so few. I did not know about the diversion of funds. Indeed, I didn't know there were excess funds. The tradition of news continues. KFOR 1240, the one Lincoln turns to. Two minutes ahead of 2 o'clock at KFOR 1240, the one you turn to for news. Good morning. For KFOR News, I'm Alan Van Sant. After an overnight low of 69, a cooler 83 in the forecast for Monday. Chances of thunder showers throughout the day. Right now, 77 at KFOR. Two teenage boys will face charges in the beating death of 35-year-old Eugene Nawakwe of Lincoln. He was found beaten to death in Pencer Park in North Lincoln early Saturday morning. County Attorney Mike Evican says it appears Nawakwe was beaten with a tire iron early Saturday. There were signs of a struggle and the victim's car is missing. Charges are expected in Lancaster County Court later today against the 15- and 17-year-old boys. Grand jury selection will begin tomorrow to investigate the death of murder suspect John Grabowski of Sydney. Grabowski was charged with two counts of first-degree murder in the March 15th deaths of a Sydney man and his daughter. KFOR News Time is now 1.59. I'll have more after this. The first cup of coffee and KFOR. It's been your morning routine for years. 
I'm Joe Templeton, ABC Radio News. KFOR's Dale Johnson and I are with you weekday mornings, updating you on overnight happenings and looking ahead to events of the day. With the worldwide resources of ABC World News this morning, the dedication of KFOR News, it's a perfect start to any morning. So take the time to be informed. We do. The Nebraska women's basketball team will open its 88-89 season against the Australian Junior National Team on November 15th at the Devaney Sports Center. Husker's schedule, which was announced by Coach Angela Beck, includes 13 home games on the 27-game slate. Beck says she hopes the Huskers can equal last year's success when they finish 22-7 and and earned a berth in the NCAA tournament. For KFOR News, I'm Alan Van Zandt. A weather forecast comes up in five minutes. But now the news will continue from ABC on KFOR Lincoln at 2 o'clock. From ABC News, I'm Joe Vaughn. Vice President George Bush is still having trouble getting around to discussing general campaign issues as he continues his Midwestern tour. John Bascom, ABC News, with the Bush campaign, Chicago. I'll have more after this. If you're torn between your need to know what's happening in the world today and your need to deal with a thousand other important things, let 800-634-2900. Toll free, 800-634-2900. Shipyard workers in Gdansk, Poland, apparently have gone on strike to back up demands for government recognition of the now outlawed Solidarity Labor Movement. Solidarity founder Lech Wałęsa warned yesterday there would be a strike if the government did not relent. For the ABC Information Network, I'm Joe Vaughn. And at 2.05, our KFOR radar weather forecast overnight. Partly cloudy with slight chances of thunderstorms later on. The low will be 69, then mostly cloudy Monday and cooler, the only 83, with a continued chance of rain throughout the day. After a low then of 60 Monday night, Tuesday clearing off, sunny and breezy with a high of 85. Some thunderstorms to talk about in uh, northeast Nebraska and uh, north central Nebraska, as well as further west. A line stretches from west to North Platte near Norfolk. Uh, some showers and thunderstorm activity throughout most of this area. Some heavier thunderstorms located uh, around the east of O'Neill area. We'll call it 25 miles east of O'Neill. Some possible small hail and very heavy rain falling in this area at the present time. Also, uh, some other thunderstorms producing very heavy rain throughout that area up north. Some scattered showers and thunderstorms also occurring over the extreme southeast corner of Nebraska. We're talking uh, further south and east than us here in Lincoln. That uh, stretches from southwest of Omaha to near Beatrice. And movements of uh, these storms have picked up somewhat and changed direction as well. They're now moving east-northeast at 30 to 35 miles per hour. Current conditions, partly cloudy in Omaha and 81 degrees. Here in Lincoln, southeast winds at 14 miles per hour with 69% humidity. It's partly cloudy, 81 at the airport and 78 at KFOR. There we go, 207 now. That's from Herb Alpert, the name of that rise, and if you're a General Hospital fan, uh, you remember that one. Yeah, you do. Partly cloudy, 81, and like and I'm Alan Van Zant as we're moving our way through a Monday, 2.13 now. And maybe a thunderstorm in our forecast later on this morning as we fall to a low of 69. Then only 83 for Monday afternoon. Not too bad at all. Cloudy and cooler, just the way we like it around this time of year. It is hard to believe, but it is uh, almost once again Haymarket Harvest Festival time. It's uh, coming right up. That means it was a year ago that uh, Farm Aid 3 was in town. It will be... Uh, Fun time, September 15th, 16th, and 17th, as the Haymarket Harvest Festival will be held, um, take one guess, yes, in the historic Haymarket District downtown. The theme of this year's celebration will be Salute to the Prairie Soldier, and it will be a three-day observance of veterans. There will be a parade and ceremonies and entertainment designed to salute veterans of all conflicts. Uh, very good theme indeed. The deal is, though, if you're a business operator who might uh, like to do your part to salute veterans, all you have to do is call us here at KFOR because we've designed a special promotion to help you show your thanks to all our veterans in the area. All you have to do is call us, and we'll send out the information you need as Lincoln prepares to salute the Prairie Soldier with the Haymarket Harvest Festival coming up September 15th through the 17th in Lincoln. You know, Kathy, there are two different types of people when it comes to traveling. The KFOR Caribbean Cruise, a vacation of a lifetime this January. <laughs> KFOR, I'm Alan Van 
Ken's aunt, and it uh, might take some extra caffeinated uh, soda for me to keep awake overnight. After a week away, I've almost forgotten how much fun it was uh, to spend this part of the day uh, being here, but uh, we'll make it till 6 o'clock. Then Scott and Kathy, as always, on a Monday with the KFOR Morning Show, being do joined by News Director Jail, uh, Dale Johnson. Get the caffeine in me. Dale Johnson and uh, with the sports, Chuck Stevens. And speaking of sports, uh, the Royals, they beat Cleveland last night, or last night yesterday afternoon, rather now, 3-1, to one, as Mark Gubazaw picked up his 15th win of the year, and uh, he's been pitching awful well this year. It's taken him a couple tries to get 15, but he finally did, as uh, Cleveland pitched kind of miserably, even though it was only a 3-1 to one game. They had three box in the affair the Tribe did, one of which brought in the game-winning run. George Brett scored on the Indians' third balk of the game. Pat Tabler also had an RBI single, which scored the third run for the Royals in the eighth. Uh, Mark Gubazov only allowing six hits in the contest, so a good deal there. The Royals are done with Cleveland now for a while. They uh, take on Texas as they continue their road trip. Uh, Monday night's game starting at 7-10 for you, the Duke Wathen Show. Floyd Bannister against Jose Guzman, the pitching matchup. Uh, those two faced each other, I believe, uh, sometime early last week, and uh, neither was in the decision. Well, no, Jose Guzman took the loss. I remember now. Jose took the loss. Floyd was not involved in the decision. Uh, let's hope the Royals win that one, too. Monday night, 7-10, here on KFOR. Now that I've rambled on and about the Royals enough, uh, let's do the KFOR radar weather forecast. Tonight, a low of 69 expected. Chances of thunderstorms later on. And only 83 Monday afternoon. Mostly cloudy, continued chance of rain. 60 the low then Monday night. And Tuesday, sunny and breezy. And 85. Some uh, pretty intense thunderstorm activity up to our northeast, to the east, or rather to the west and south of the Sioux City area. In between Sioux City and Norfolk, some pretty uh, good-sized thunderstorms with quite probably some small hail involved with those. And uh, most of uh, northeast Nebraska getting some kind of precipitation activity at this present time. It's moving northeast at 30 to 35 miles per hour. Right now in Omaha, it's partly cloudy in 81. Also 81 at the Lincoln Airport officially. We have southeast winds of 14 with 69% humidity. It's partly cloudy and 78 at KFOR. Morning is a time for information. A time to see how your world changed overnight. I'm Joe Templeton. Weekday mornings, ABC World News This Morning helps you catch up on events and KFOR News fills you in on Lincoln happenings. Together, we bring you the most accurate, highly respected radio news in Lincoln. Isn't that what you expect from your radio station? Dale Johnson, Greg Jackson, and John Kopetsky wouldn't think of bringing you less. Baby cried the day the circus came to town. Cause she didn't want parades just passing by her. Eastern Ambulance, helping you stretch your health care dollar with AmServe. We've become a six-decade tradition in Lincoln. I am today ordering a freeze on all prices and wages throughout the United States for a period of 90 days. Indeed, I didn't know there were excess funds. The tradition of news continues. KFOR 1240, the one Lincoln turns to. KFOR 1240, the one you turn to for news. Good morning, everyone. I'm Dale Johnson with KFOR News. 78 degrees in our city this morning. 83 is our expected high today with a possibility of rain. This news being brought to you by your Vistar Bank. There's now a new controversy surrounding Senator Dan Quayle. The campaign is now being questioned about how Quayle got into law school. Quayle's father, James Quayle, concedes that his son's grades were not good enough to get in, but that his son overcame that by talking administrators into admitting him to Indiana University Law School. He made evidently a very convincing case. Because the next thing we knew, he was, he was in law school. 
Senator Quayle in Washington, appearing on ABC's Good Morning America, said no unfair pressure was used to get him into law school or the National Guard. He was asked whether it was unsettling to hear all these charges, that he might have used his family and contacts to do so. The critical question is, were any rules broken? No. Were, did we ask any rules to be bent? No. Was there anything other than getting into the military or into law school fair? The answer is yes. We're was battling all. major wildfires there. They expect to help for at least 10 days. KFOR News Time is 832. 78 degrees in Lincoln. Our high today, 83. I'll have more news for you in a moment. Lisa Niebuhr first opened an account with Vistar Bank because of the convenient locations. Two teenagers arrested in the weekend death of a Lincoln man are expected to be charged today or tomorrow. Lancaster County Attorney Mike Hevigan says the 15- and 17-year-old males are the only suspects in the beating death of 35-year-old Eugene Nakwi, whose cards spin a lot more in his primary battle against Hal Dobb. KFOR News Time is 835. KFOR's radar weather for you in one minute. It's time to round up the kids, saddle up the uh, family car, and head to Carrie's at 201 Sun Valley Boulevard. It's Remember, they service what they sell at Lincoln Appliance, 27th and Randolph. We've got a partly cloudy day ahead of us, according to the KFOR radar weather forecast and a possibility of thunderstorms. Our high will be 83. Tonight, a chance of evening showers, otherwise the clouds moving out. And as we head into tomorrow morning, we'll see fewer clouds and a low of 62, our high 85. Tomorrow, this morning in Kansas City, 78 degrees, 71 with a thunderstorm in Des Moines, but it's clear in Concordia, Kansas with 80. Cloudy in 69 in Omaha, partly cloudy in 77 at the Lincoln Airport, 78 at KFOR. This news has been brought to you by your Vistar Bank. I'm Dale Johnson. 8.36 in the morning. Here's Chuck Stevens now with your sports. And sports presented by the Connecting Point Computer Centers. Dennis Eckersley picked up his 35th save of the season yesterday as he protected Oakland's 5-4 win over Boston. In the other game, St. Louis down Cincinnati 7-1 in Atlanta. Blank the Cubs 1-0. More after this. Assure better grades this fall. Take advantage of Connecting Point Computer Center's back-to-school special. From Connecting Point Computer Center, 620 North 48th and 17th and P. Phoenix Cardinals have yet to win since moving from St. Louis to Arizona during the offseason. That's it for sports. Chuck Stevens for the Connecting Point Computer Center at 840. Mr. Tambourine Man at 17 and a half till 9 in the morning with Scott and Kathy, 77 degrees at the airport and 79, and the sun is shining at KFOR 124. The one you turn to for Kathy and Scott, Larry Mullenbrink. We welcome the Larrister to the KFOR Morning Show microphones. Good morning, Larry. Good morning, all. How are you? Brad Hartman had the uh, GMCPQ on Friday afternoon. That's right. Friday we had a little change of schedule, a little uh, mm -hmm. shifting, mm -hmm. and Brad had the Grease Monkey Carpool Quiz. No. What was the question? The question was, who was the first woman head of state in the Western Hemisphere? You know, you got That's that one, Kathy? I had heard the answer. Uh -huh. Do you know you all, Kathy always hears these answers. Well, he and Brad like, were discussing it. She just asked. Yeah, yeah. Say, what, what was the answer? Say, what, yeah. What was the answer? Was it Isabel Perron? Isabel Perron. Yeah. Isabel Perron. And uh, when Brad told me the, the gentleman who won... He said Juan Perez, and I thought he was going to say Juan Perón. Yeah, no, well, well, he'd be ineligible. Yeah, but Juan Perez of Lincoln uh, was our winner. Uh, Isabel Perón succeeded her husband, Argentine dictator Juan Perón, after his death. She was ousted by a military junta in March of 1976 after 20 months as president. Wow. So uh, Juan Perez knew that it was Isabel Perón, and he'll win that 15-point uh, care pack, full-service package from Grease Monkey, a 33rd and O. Oh. Hey, way to go, Juan. Today's question. Kind of an interesting question to Today, a question that you can easily look up if you don't know the answer, I'm sure. How many stars were on the American flag during the Spanish-American War in 1898? How many stars were on the American flag during the Spanish-American War in 1898? Okay. Tough question. No, not really. Just think about it. It's, it's quite simple. It is? Yeah, and you can look it up. Yeah, okay. You can look it up. You, you can look it up, as Casey Stengel yeah. used to say. Larry will repose that uh, flag question this afternoon at 5.15, right before Paul Harvey's rest of the story. If you'd like to take a crack at that, give Larry a call at 5.15 today. Your car knows. Your car knows.
on. You can too. Nebraska Business Printing, 5612 South 49th, but just a phone call away at 423-3057. It's 846 with Scott and Kathy at KF4. If you're a busy person who spends a lot of time in your car, so if you're going to make that investment, make it with the people who know what they're talking about, the professionals at Lincoln Telephone Cellular. Another celebrity birthday today. This is Count Basie's what birthday, Kathy? Oh, Scott, I knew you were going to ask you me knew that. I was gonna, you knew I was going to ask you that yet. And let's, yet, Kathy. Let's see. Now, while I'm looking, let's tell him that we tried to find one o'clock jump, yeah, we, which he's probably best known for. Um, but we but, didn't have that. Yeah, we didn't find it. So Kathy did find. <laughs> it had. That? Kathy found an album by some. Who is that? That was a good one, Kathy. I'm I looking got at. Fooled. Yeah. I got fooled. Sounds of the great bands, and then I turn it over. Kathy thinks we're all set with Count Basie's one o'clock jump. Come to find out that this is Glenn Gray's Casa Lomans Create a Jazz Odyssey, playing hi-fi recreations of the biggest moments of the biggest swing bands. Here's the excitement of the swing era plus the craft of now, merging into sounds of the great men. So we deep six Glenn Lomans in the uh, Casa Lomans. Wait, I kind of wish we would have just played it. We might not have known the difference. Oh, no, we'd have known the difference, Kathy. You and I would have known. It had to be you by Count Basie, who was born on this day back in 1904, Count William Basie. That's Count Basie and his orchestra, and it had to be you on KFLR, Count Basie's birthday today. It's 9 until 9. Speaking of big band music and fun music, Kenny? If you like that kind of music, you're going to love the KFOR Twilight Dances. And they are returning to the Grand Ballroom of the Cornhusker Hotel. Our first one is this coming Thursday night, the 25th. We invite you to come and join the fun of Lincoln's best entertainment value. Dance to the music of Dennis Wesley and his orchestra. The doors open at 5.30 and then the music is from 6 to 9. And it's only $6 per person at the door. This includes the music and the dancing and a large selection of hot and cold hors d'oeuvres. And cash bars are available. We hope to see you this Thursday. Thursday night for the first of the season's KFOR Twilight Dances. 8 till 9, and Dale's here with the news and weather updates. Charges are anticipated against two teenagers arrested in the bludgeoning death of 35-year-old Eugene Nakwe of Lincoln. His body found Saturday morning in a Lincoln Park. These are just two of the stories on the way for you in just a few minutes. The KFOR radar weather forecast now at 7 before 9. Partly cloudy with a chance of rain today, 83 hour high. Possibility of rain early this evening, then clouds moving out and an evening low of 62. Tomorrow mostly sunny and a high reaching 85. Cloudy and 69 at Omaha at 77 at the airport. East winds 10 to 12 this morning, 79 degrees and the sun shining at KFOR. Beautiful clothes for women. 4708 Prescott, College View Village, Lincoln. August is here, and that means Husker football can't be far off. This is Larry Moldenbrink inviting you to join Kent Pavelka, Gary Saddlemeyer, Jack Payne, and me for all the excitement of Big Red Football on KFOR this fall. Tom Osborne's crew faces another tough schedule, starting with a kickoff classic against Texas A&M. Remember, KFOR is still the one you turn to for Husker football in 1988. KFOR, the one you turn to for news. Good morning. I'm Dale Johnson with KFOR News. 80 degrees now in Lincoln. Our expected high is only going to reach about 83 today with a chance of showers. Our high yesterday, 95 in Lincoln. Lancaster County Attorney Mike Hebekin says he expects to file charges today or tomorrow against two males. Emig says most street projects in the city are right on schedule this summer. I'll have more in a moment. All aboard for Lincoln Tour and Travel's exciting cruise specials. Yes, right now at Lincoln Tour and Travel, book a seven-day Hawaii special cruises and special cruise prices now at Lincoln Tour and Travel. Get your free cruise brochures today. Call Lincoln Tour and Travel and travel with confidence. The Fridge is back with the Bears. William Perry spent a month in an eating disorder center, slimming down from 358. I'm Dale Johnson. Now the news continues from ABC on KFOR Lincoln at 9 o'clock. From ABC News, I'm Joe Templeton. Poland has not said yet how it plans to deal with the more than 76,000 workers on strike throughout the country. 
One thing more, Red Cross officials in Spain say a man has undergone plastic surgery after a fight with his girlfriend. She bit off the tip of his nose. This is ABC News. Over 25 million people own Black & Decker Dustbuster cordless bags. Pretty clever, Black & Decker. For the ABC Information Network, I'm Joe Templeton. It's 9.05. Here's the scoop on the weather this morning. Uh, it sounds awfully good if this comes to pass. Partly cloudy with a 40% chance of thunderstorms today. And a high of only 83. Chances of evening thunderstorms tonight. Then decreasing clouds and cooler with a low of 62. Then mostly sunny tomorrow, a high of 85. It's cloudy and 70 in Omaha. Uh, shower this hour in North Platte, Grand Island. And uh, let's see, up around Norfolk. Cloudy skies up there. They've, they've had some rain on and off. We have shower activity running in a diagonal line from Grand Island to Sioux City that wants to come this way but just hasn't moved this way so far. But we'll keep our eye on that for you this morning. Sunshiny skies, uh, let's see, 81 at the airport, east breeze at 12 to 14, sunny and 80 at KFOR. <laughs> on KFOR and rainy days and Mondays. It's 11 minutes after 9 o'clock. Today on Lincoln Live, Kathy and I will be joined by a couple of good guys, Mike Babcock and Ken Hamilton, who are sports writers for the Journal Star, and we'll be visiting Husker football, and just uh, those guys are always good for a story or two. So we hope you'll join us today, either in person or via the airwaves. Mike Babcock and Ken Hamilton, the guests today on Lincoln Live from the Five Reasons Lounge at the Cornhusker. I'm Rick Heyman, president of Richard Heyman's Diamond Design. With a guaranteed 50 minutes of classic rock and roll this hour. It's a vintage Grand Funk Railroad on 92.9. Hi, Dave Bliss. Back after a brief four-hour hiatus, I'll be cracking the cupboard on classic rocket with another 30-minute Eagle free flight with Jerry Raffrey, the Standells, Buffalo Springfield, Genesis, the Fabulous T-Birds, and Santana next. Join us for Rarities, weekdays at 610, brought to you by Richard Heyman's Diamond Design, third floor in Green Tree Court at Gateway North, and the Eagle 92.9. Steelers Wheel, Jerry Rafferty, the sax solo there done by Raphael Ravenscroft. I'm Dave Bliss, and these are the Standells on the Eagle 92.9. <laughs> effective at noon tomorrow. Vice President Ford will be sworn in as president at that hour in this office. I'm a ride a little train that is rolling down the tracks to the junction. Forget about your cares, it is time to relax at the junction. Lots of curves, you bet. Even more when you get to the junction. 
of Rock and Roll Show on Friday, September 2nd. That'll have uh, Badfinger, Mitch Ryder, and the Detroit Wheels, Blues Image, and much, much more. Or the Jay Leno Show, Sunday, September 4th, the Bruce Springsteen of comedy, no less. I've got a fistful of tickets that I'll be giving away sometime this morning. Just be listening here for your chance to call in and win those tickets to either of these great shows on the Eagle, 92.9. for the Star City Holiday Parade has been extended to September 9th. So if you'd like some more details, you can give me a call here at the Eagle. I'm Joe Blood. Welcome to a, a wild, wet one this afternoon. And for a change, the National Weather Service uh, was right on the money on this one, and I'll have uh, more details for you later on this uh, hour with the Eagle Radar weather picture. We're looking at another Eagle free flight, though, in the uh, meantime. Got to be checking out Skinnerd. Latest from Robert Cray. Also, yes, Jackson Brown and Supertramp standing by. The best sale in the area just got better. Amos has free delivery to both campuses, and get this, they're open till 2 a.m. on Friday and Saturday, so you can call them when I come over and crash your party. Call Ramos for free campus delivery till 1 a.m. Friday and Saturday till 2. Quality stuff at great prices, so call them now. Hi, this is Rich Rodenberg, owner of Bike Peddlers at 33rd and Z. Join us for Rarities weekdays at 610, brought to you by Richard Heyman's Diamond Design, 3rd Floor and Green Tree Court at Gateway North and the Eagle 92.9. <laughs> To 
95 CD, Yes, along with Jackson Brown on the Eagle 92.9. Roots, part of a guaranteed 50 minutes of classic rock and roll this hour on the Eagle 92.9.
with Daryl Hall and John Oates on 106 FM. KETT, Lincoln's 10 in a row station, where I'm going to be kicking off another 10 in a row. Coming up at 10 till, I'm Jeff Davis, going to help Lynn Clarkson out. She's going to be stepping in, playing Lincoln's favorites. And up next, Billy Joel from 106 FM, KHAT. Hey, turn the radio down. we got to make sure we got everything here. Okay, you ready? We're ready. All right, paper, check, pen, check, books, check. 19-inch color TV. 19-inch color TV. Yeah. This is a great radio station. Uh, microwave. Microwave. Uh, boombox with cassette and uh, AM FM radio. Boombox. Cannondale 10-speed bike. A bike? $700 gift certificate from Burdens. What the? Don't you have this stuff? Smith Corona personal word processor? Look, I got the paper and the pen, but the rest of this stuff. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. KHAT, Ace Rent to Own, Burton's Outdoor Outfitters, Bike Peddlers, and Lincoln Office Equipment present the School Survival Setup. One lucky listener will win over $4,000 in cash and merchandise, including a 19-inch color TV, a microwave, a boombox, a 10-speed bike, a $700 gift certificate, a Smith Corona word processor, and $1,000 in cash from KHAT. Listen for locations to register for the School Survival Setup. No purchase necessary. From Hidden Valley, Chartreuse Caboose, and World Motor Works. Random drawing Friday, September 16th. Only from Lincoln's 10 in a row station, KHAT. You're getting married? That means you've got a lot to get done. Let Wedding Guide help. Tune. Wedding Guide. Brought to you by Gaga's Greenery and Tunagram. K-H-A-T. Are you looking for child care? Well, coming this fall, the YMCA is opening a new daycare center. That's over at Bethany Christian Church. 1645 North Connor. Infants through kindergarten age are going to be served. Want some more information? Give me a call here at KHAT. 423-106.3. Here's Michael Jackson on 106 FM. Speed bike from Bike Peddler, $700 gift certificate from Burdens, Smith Corona word processors from Lincoln Office Equipment, and $1,000 in cash from KHAT. One lucky listener is going to win it all. Random drawing is going to be Friday, September 16th. There is no purchase necessary. All you have to do is register at Lincoln Office Equipment, 2535 O Street, or it's the Pence, 49th and Holdridge, and the House of Holloway in Edgewood, or at 33rd and Sheridan. The school survival setup only from Lincoln's 10 in a row station, KHAT. Dear Dad, we made our toughest parachute jump at dawn. Oh. As for myself. Paid for by the U.S. Army. And the 106 weather forecast overnight partly cloudy, a chance of thunderstorms, and an overnight low of 68. Monday, mostly cloudy, cooling down some, but uh, take an umbrella. There is a chance of thunder showers possible, a high about 88. Right now, it is 85 in the capital city. I'm Jeff Davis with Eric Carmen losing control on 106 FM. KHAT. KHAT, Lincoln's 10 in a row station. I'm Jeff Davis. About ready to step on out of here, but before I do, I'm going to help Lynn Clarkson kick off another 10 in a row at 10 till with Naked Eyes, Glenn Majerals, Billy Ocean, and Madonna for you on 106 FM. Ladies and gentlemen, listen and win. The best seat in the house from Lincoln Center Furniture, Ringling Brothers, and Barnum and Bailey Circus, and Lincoln's 10 in a row station, KHAT. At 10 chill, let's kick off 10 in a row with a theme from Caddy Shack 2. Kenny Loggins, Nobody's Fool on 106 FM. Rolling 10 with your chance to get qualified to win the best seat in the house coming up before midnight. So keep it right here because you could be winning that from Ringling Brothers, Barnum and Bailey Circus, and Lincoln Center Furniture. Key, JT with the Pet Shop Boys and Dusty.